Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the common collector amplifier circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find under the which condition the small signal voltage gain of this common collector amplifier will remain nearly constant over the wide range of values of RE. So here, this IC is the DC collector current and similarly, this VB is the base emitter voltage of the transistor. And as you know, this Vt is the thermal voltage. Similarly, this Gm is the transconductance and the R0 is the output resistance. And based on these parameters, we have been given the four different conditions. So here, from the given options, we need to find the condition under which the small signal voltage gain of this common collector amplifier remains almost constant over the wide range of values of Re. So let us find that. So here, for the simplicity, the biasing circuit for this common collector amplifier is not shown. But just assume that this common collector amplifier is biased in a such a way that it operates as the amplifier. So here, this VIN is the small signal input voltage and the Vout is the output voltage. So for the given common collector amplifier, whenever we are doing the AC analysis, then this DC voltage source VCC will act as a zero. Or in other words, this collector terminal will get connected to the ground terminal. So for the small signal analysis perspective, if you see, then here, the input is applied between the base and the collector, while the output is also taken across the emitter and the collector terminal. And that's why, from the small signal analysis perspective, this collector terminal is common between the input and the output side. And that's why, the given configuration is the common collector amplifier. So on the main channel, we have already seen that, how to do the small signal analysis of this common collector amplifier. And in that video, we have seen that how to derive the voltage gain for this common collector amplifier. So in that video, we have seen that the voltage gain for this common collector amplifier can be given as this Gm times Re divided by 1 plus this Gm times Re. So as you can see from the equation, whenever this Gm times Re is much greater than 1, at that time, this voltage gain is approximately equal to 1. And in that condition, it is almost independent of the value of the RE. That means to get the constant voltage gain, this condition should get satisfied. Now you also know that for the BJT, this transconductance GM can also be given as this IC divided by VT, right? So in the above expression, if you put the value of the GM, then we can write it as this IC divided by VT times RE should be much greater than 1. Or we can say that this IC times RE should be much greater than VT. So if this condition gets satisfied, then the voltage gain of this common collector amplifier is almost independent of the value of the RE. And from this we can say that for the given question, this B is the correct answer.